single event probability. Let's say there are three red marbles and um, three green marbles in a jar. Okay, so um, we're gonna answer these questions. So first of all, okay, what is the sample space for this? So the sample space is red, okay, red, red, and green, green, green. These are called sample space, okay? So I can write S equal. Okay, so this is sample space. So the next one is how many elements are in the uh, sample space? So these are the elements, okay? Like red, 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 green, green, green. It's called sample space. So how many are there? So six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So three red, three green. So therefore six elements in the sample space. Okay. Now, how many different elements are in the sample space? So how many different? So you're gonna, you only have red and green. So there are only two different, two different elements, okay, in the sample space. So you got only two, okay. Or how many distinct elements, like different, if you like. So that's it. That's how you um, list the sample space, and then you need to find out what is, um, how many elements are there, and then um, the different elements, okay. So you can do the probability. So I'm gonna ask you a series of probability question. When you get this, okay we can answer this so what is a probability um what is the probability of getting a red if i'm just if i'm gonna put my hand in and, and get a marble out without looking at a jar right for example now to get a red if you look at this how many is, uh, elements in there six right so that means six probability of six to get a red how many red in a jar one two three right you can look at diagram or look at my sample space so you got one two three so three up six of course you have to simplify that give me a half see that's all so what is the probability of getting a green okay so the probably getting a green is same things you got three three up six which is a half very simple okay now, what is the probability, okay, of um, getting a red or a green, okay? So, of course, if I put my hand in jar, I'll definitely get a marbles, right? So, it can be a green or a red, but we're not sure. So, to get that, so how many red? It's three. How many green? Three, right? So, all you get a six. So, the probability is six out of six. So, which is one. There you go. Okay, very basic basic probability. Okay. Next one. Okay. Let's say here I have a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace. Okay. So um, what is the sample space for this? So the, the sample space for this is I have a jack, okay, a queen, okay, a king, and an ice. This is my sample space. All right. So it's sample space is equal to this. Next one. How many elements are in the uh, sample space? Four. Right. Thank you. That's four. And then the next one is how many different elements are in the sample space? So four of them, and all of them are different. So which is four? You see. So let's say, for example, I'm going to ask you a probability question in here. What is the probability of getting a jack or a king? Okay. Now, so how many jacks in there? One, right? How many king in there? One as well. So therefore, we have two over one, two, three, four. Okay. So four all together. So our four. So which is a half. See? So what is the probability of getting, okay, let's say jack, queen, or king. Okay, so the probability of that is, so we got three of them, see, because it's one, one jack, one king, one, one uh, queen, so we are three out of, the total is five cards, or 
five elements in this. I mean four, I mean, so four. So that's it. Okay, now let's do one complementary probability. Let's say the probability of not getting a king. Okay, not. Okay, so not king. So if you can look at it, okay, so you can do, you count not king, so jack, queen, or ace, so which is three. So three out of four. See? That's, that's called complementary probability. Or I can do this way. I can just draw a line underneath. So, or you can say find the probability of king first. So, find the probability of king is 1 over 4, right? To getting a king. So, therefore, the probability of getting, not getting a king, okay, is 1 minus a quarter. So, which is equal to 3 quarter. So, it's the same thing. Okay? Let's move on. Okay. Let's say this die, if this dice is wrong, okay? So what is the sample space for this? The sample space, sample space is either one, okay, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, these are the possible outcomes. So these are the um, sample space. And then um, how many different okay, elements, okay, or how many elements, first of all, okay, are there in the sample space I just list? So which is six, correct? And then um, how many different elements, okay, so which is six of them, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's well six, okay? So remember that the first one, you have to list the sample space out, and then you work out how many sample space, and then the different, um, elements in there as well okay so let's say i'm asking you a question like this what is the probability of getting an even number okay now the even numbers is okay or ask let's say even number two four six see these are a even number so which is three out of six okay because six elements all together okay so which is a half can you see that now what is the probability of getting a square number okay let's say square square number numbers all right so square numbers are so you can remember the square number one square is one two square is four three square is nine so we don't have up to three because it's six is the maximum so square numbers of one and four okay so how many one how many four net just one right so all together one 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 loss of one and then um, one loss of four, so which is two. Okay, so you got two out of six. If you simplify this, you get one third. See? Very simple. Okay? Now, what is the probability, okay, of a number, okay, I don't know what it is, less than or equal to five? Now, the number that less than or equal to 5, remember, or equal to, okay? So, which is 1 all the way from 1 to 5, right? 1 is less than 5, 2 less than 5, 3 less than 5, 4 less than 5, and 5 less than or equal to 5, right? So, they're all including in that. So, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, your answer is 5 out of 6. Now, what is the probability okay of getting a two okay a five or a three okay so the probability of this you got one of two one of five and one of three so all together so three three out of six so if you simplify this give me a half okay that's all now let's move on to next question if this point, um, if this um, spin is spun once, what is the probability that is pointing to a three? Okay, so the probability, okay, of pointing to a three. Okay, so all together, you know that there is one all the way one to eight, so eight elements. Okay, so we know that is our eight elements. Now, then you know that there's only one three in there, correct? So just one out of eight, not three out of eight, three is a number, okay, it's only one, so which is one out of eight. Now, what is the probability of getting, okay, a number, 
that's greater or equal to 5. Of course, greater or equal to 5 is 5 is, is greater or equal to, I mean, is greater or equal to, right? And then 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 out of 8. So the answer is, aha, you see? Now, next one. What is it? What is the probability? What is the probability of getting a prime number? So prime number, right? So just write prime. So getting a prime number. So you know what a prime number is. So prime numbers is the number that has only two factors, right? So one is not a prime. So remember that for me. One is only one factor. In fact, one is a square number. So it's not a prime. Okay. So 2 is a prime number because 2 have only 1 and 2 factors. Only 1 and 2 is a, fa is a factor of that. Okay, 3 as well. 3 have factor of 1 and 3. 4 has 2, 4, so that 4, and 1, so more than 2 factor. 5 is a prime. Okay, 6 is not because 6 is multiple of 2 and 3. 7 is a prime. 8 is not a prime, of course. So which is... Four. Okay, one, two, three, four. So four out of eight, which is a half as well. See? So last one on this. What's the probability of getting, okay, not an eight? Okay, I'm not getting an eight. So not eight. Now, not eight means complementary, complementary probability. So remember, Okay, I can find the probability of A first. What's the probability of getting an 8? 1, 8. That's correct. So not 8 is 1 minus that. So 1 minus 1, 8. So 1 minus 1, 8, it's the same as 8 minus 1. A minus 1 is 7. So 7, 8. Okay, otherwise just use your calculator to sort it out. All you can do is not 8, is this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are not 8, so 7 out of 8. Very simple. Okay, now next one. Okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just show you the diagram here, and I'm going to ask you a series of questions, see if you can do it. Even just do it in your head if you like. A very simple one. Now, look at this diagram. Okay, I have what? Four blues marble, two greens, and two red. Okay, let's say I'm randomly just pick one. Okay, without looking. So which is, what is the probability? Okay, of getting, actually, I'll ask you to list the sample space as well. Okay, try to list, square, first part is list the sample space. Okay, just list them out first, then you can do the probability. Okay, or just do probability. So probability of getting a blue marbles, getting a probability of blue or green marbles okay the find the probability of green or red marble and then find the probability of not blue okay not blue marble okay or the probability of not getting a red marble okay this is not okay so yeah just do this this only take you like a couple seconds and thank you so much for watching my videos.